Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the 2021 Leave Insert Paper 2 Question 7 with statistics. As you can see, we have a set of data for age groups and percentage of the subscribers. We need to make a bar chart to represent the data. So this is very straightforward. As you can see, the majority of the subscribers are in the mid range between 35 and 45. In a survey of 1000 subscribers aged between 15 and 65, how many people are expected to be between 25 and 55 years? So let's get the proportion from the graph. So up as far as 55 you can see that if we add up all of those values we will get a total of 92 per 92% so apply the 92% to the 1000 subscribers and therefore we will get 920 subscribers Use a table of the histogram to write down the age group. So first of all, if we use the table, we could look at the mid interval value. So from 15 to 25, we could get 20. The next one would be 30. The next one would be 40. And then between 45 and 55, we can get 50. And finally 60. So if we just look at the mean of these values, we can see that the mid interval value of 40 will be centrally located. So therefore we can choose the 35 to 45 group range. Otherwise we can just look at the central axis and we could get a mean here. And the median, okay, as it's, it's symmetric, then the median would be very close. Okay, so now we're on to the mid interval values. So this would otherwise be called a weighted mean. So let's see how the weighted mean works out, okay? So we could do the sum, okay, of all the mid interval values. It's called the mid, the mid values multiplied by their percentages and we can put this over the total amount which is percentage as well so it's a total percentage okay so let's look at our values so in the first mid interval value between 15 and 25 it's 20 and we have 24% there. The second one, as you can see, it's 30. We will multiply that by 27% plus 40. Mid interval value multiplied by 25% plus 50 by 16. And you've guessed it, 60 is the final mid interval values by 8%. Our total cumulative percentage below sums up to 100. Use your calculator, check your figures, and we will get 35.7 to one decimal place, and that's in years. Finally, we need to look at a hypothesis test. So on the leave insert, usually we have something similar to this. First of all, in part A, we need to get the margin of error for the 540 people. So the margin of error formula needs to be um, known and you need to put it as a percentage as well. So we need to multiply it by 100. So let's substitute in 
with the 540 and we will get 4.3% which is a reasonably higher on to part two his survey revealed that 700 372 of the responders said they now have netflix so we can use this value over the total and we need to make a 95 percent confidence interval so let's start with this 372 over 540 will give us the proportional mean and we can call that p hat okay and then that will give 68.88 which is 68.9 percent now we're going to do the 95 percent confidence interval so let's add in our margin of error on either side so we can go like this our proportional mean plus or minus the margin of error me is equal to 68.9 plus or minus 4.3 this was our margin of error up here for that size of population in the survey and the resulting range is between 64.6 as the lower limit and 73.2 as the upper limit so getting this right is very important for the next stage as we're going to have a few now that we need to do the hypothesis test at the five percent level of significance the five percent level of significance relates to the 95 percent confidence interval so we can use the we can use the this confidence interval for our test so let's go put our test together so the claim is going to be that the 65 percent of the market is between the 15 to 65 age group so let's test that claim so the claim and the null hypothesis means that there is no change so the null we can set then the mean is going to be equal to 65 percent there has to be an alternative if that's not true therefore the mean would be not equal to 65 percent now let's do our test So our confidence interval is already obtained, 64.6, 73.2. We can look at it on a standard distribution sketch like this, knowing that there's 95% within that or 5% outside. And we can put in the 64.6 and the 73.2. We're going to use the 65 now as our test value. We can call that capital X. Okay, as you can see, 65 is within those two limits. So we can write our conclusion. As it's inside, we will fail to reject fail to reject the null hypothesis and we can say that the Netflix 65% claim has not changed 65% Netflix has not changed. Thank you for joining Mats Plus.